How we're doing, guys, is the makeup. And What's the wisdom I've gotten from you? So, um, we, uh, you spoke about doing something for realtors, and I wanted to be sure you are still going to do it. Or are you <laughs> not us. doing it? I'm still going to do it, but what I want, um, this Friday by 8 p.m., mm. 8 p.m. GMT plus one, <laughs> um, we are going to have this uh, monthly masterclass. Mm. So, mm. normally, the masterclass is being paid for, but uh, the first 100 people that sign up for the masterclass, they would assess the class for free. They will have opportunity to ask me questions. So the class is both for beginners, mm. middle, and the end. So there are three ways for wealth. You, number one, you have to begin. Mm -hmm. Then the middle time is you have to sacrifice. Mm. Then the last ladder is that you have to, you are now in abundance. Mm. So whether you are in the middle or mm. you're in the beginning, or you want to be super, 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 duper abundant. So people like us who have, so people who have, like us that have got to go and sack, that sack on our, <laughs> on our capital. <laughs> Do we still have an opportunity yes, to, to retrace our house. steps? <laughs> we sell our house. No, no, that's not what we can just say on the air. Okay. Because sometimes if it's a husband, the wife mind, and that's so quarrel of the that wife. Is that is that quarrel of the wife. Cannot, to court. Cannot, that cannot be set on. It's worse than the movies. We have so, to wrap up here. So, 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 so we have link, hope. We have link, hope. I don't okay. know if we put the, the phone link. number. There's, we don't have the school. Give us a phone number or something to call. Yeah. Okay, so um, for the link is life, um, Grace. My name is Grace. Mm. Offray.com slash training. Okay. Oh, that's not the link they have. Yeah. Okay. So okay. you have graceoffray.com slash training. Okay. You know, so but the one we have now is the email Life address card. of the company. Yes. So if you just send, uh, if you go to that Website. place Website. and then, Life, you know, Life there's always card. a contact yeah. session. Yeah. So yeah. if you just, just say you want for, you want the master, uh, class. Okay. Class. the master class for okay. right. Friday. But it's important that you really? get the master class for Thank Friday. Thank you so much for coming. Hmm. Thank you. You got us thinking and staring up on me. All right. Mm -hmm. We don't we'll go sell the house. I'm going to start saying. Thank you very much. It was, it was a pleasure having you on the show. All right. Let's go on a break. When we come back, move on to other topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. This is your captain speaking. We are currently cruising on an altitude of... Like say Google Map, they no saying don't mislead you. You go come quiet. What are you gonna see now? Redirecting. Direct. Lagos, are you ready? Comedy show like no other, featuring Fumbi Fumbi, Sheila, Akbaro, Ashbebe, Kofi, Bo Joint, Remote. <laughs> Musical performances, Sky Plus, Vector, Harry Song, Scales, YC, Lacon, White Money, Jay Wills, Terry, Young John, and lots more. On the wheels of steel is DJ Nana and DJ Daisy. Date, June 26th at Eco Hotels and Suites. Regular, 5,000 Naira. VIP, 25,000 Naira. Silver table of 10, 1 million Naira. Gold table of 10, 2 million Naira. Tickets are available online at ariatickets.com. Eco Hotels and Suites. Fumbi's Boss. Wale Wajo. Supported by Mini Me, Dano, White Lion Empire, Paragon. Packaged by Landry Maku Events. Powered by Bati Fekori, Media Partner, TVC. size find it with the new etel data plans dial star 141 hash now to get the plan that suits you
Airtel, the smartphone network. Welcome to the dawn of a new digital banking age. Introducing King Mobile, the upgraded Keystone mobile app that lets you live life 100% branchless. Open a fully functional Keystone account within two minutes. Increase your transaction limits to the maximum allowable figure. Shop and make payments in style using the NQR payment feature. Simply scan, verify and pay. Get your card delivered to your location within 48 hours. Transfer funds simply by using the recipient's phone number. Withdraw or deposit cash at the nearest branch or agent's location on the app. Settle transaction dispute. Plan and manage your expenses on the go and do more. Download the Key Mobile app on Google Play and Apple Store today. Key Mobile. Go brushless. Wow! <laughs> This is the best thing that, that could ever happen to me. You know, um, when I started searching for a place to, you know, buy property, and people were just taking me to forest, you know. I did a lot of search, not until I met one of your marketers, when, I mean, sometimes in 2015, and I told me about Adron. So when I followed him, I come to the site, when I saw blue in my mind, I bought into the property, and I mean, the rest is history. Hazel free, everything. I mean, here is so, so, so peaceful. We sleep like a baby here. Thank God also, Adron has built a police post somewhere I didn't around you. This the greatest thing that I enjoy so far now is I mean, I have, I mean, on the top power supply. Adron is true to his word. It's a friendly organization. I mean, professional. I can recommend Adron to anybody. This is a place to be. This is the next cash cow for people. Adron Homes, making the incredible. Affordable. Are you aware that your perfect family may be under threat by germs? Germs can cause infectious disease. These infectious diseases are amongst the biggest killers of adults and children. Illness causing germs are everywhere. In unclean bathing water, on your clothes, dirty surfaces, on cuts and wounds. To protect your family from germs, use the power of Dettol's One Cap Full. In your bathing water, for your laundry, for surface cleaning, for first aid and to protect your family from up to 100 illness causing germs. Be that all sure. Do you know you can now check your oral health anytime, anywhere with my tooth doc, the Colgate WhatsApp Dentist. Send hi now to 0908-999-6001 on WhatsApp to check your oral health for free. Endorsed by the Nigerian Dental Association. Helen Paul. Don't be surprised. I'm a new twin. I know you've heard of Apic Toilet Cleaner. Of course. And for the rest of your bathroom? Bathroom? I use detergent and bleach to clean. Madam, detergent and bleach does not give you better cleaning. In the bathroom, you find tough things like grime, lime scale, and eden underneath are germs. Introducing new Apic Bathroom Cleaner. Dilute it in water to clean the floor. And for tough stains, use directly on surface to give you 10 times better cleaning versus detergent and kills germs as well. Wow. So blue for my toilet and red for my bathroom to be good as new. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. So for those of you that live in Lagos, you hear a lot of building collapse. So to forestall incessant building collapse in Lagos and improve the quality of buildings within the metropolis. Join us on the show is the general manager of the Lagos State Materials Testing Laboratory Engineer, Pulusho Elulade. Welcome to the show, sir. Yeah, good morning. So when we hear of building collapse, um, usually we hear from old buildings within Lagos State that have collapse. So then we beg to question, is it that they've expired, the materials have expired, are used for many years? And sometimes we hear new buildings collapsing. So then we talk about, okay, what kind of materials do they use? So let's start with the old buildings. Is it, is it that a building has a lifespan? After certain, I mean, after X amount of years, it should be built, it should pull down. Or buildings do last, around, around the world, we have buildings 200 years old, 100. How come we're having well, a collapsed building here? Uh, yeah, uh, thank you for the question. 
every building in the world has a design state or serviceability limit state, whereby the building ceases to function optimally due to weathering, you know, rain, sun, you know, uh, with natural occurrences right. and stuff. But the fundamental thing about buildings is to make sure when constructing, you use the right material, I mean, a quality material, and they go through, you know, various tests, mm -hmm. material testing, whilst you are constructing. So as it applies to old building, it applies to new building. If the right material is not used, the building will not last for as long as you want it to last. If you do not carry out the requisite test, especially from conception, when you know that you want to build, you carry out a feasibility study to know the kind of ground you want to put that building on. You need to do a particular test mm. that will tell you this is the kind of foundation that mm. the building should sit on. For example, if you go to the island that has a high water table, it's different from the mainland that has a consolidated ground. So not until you carry out that test, you cannot determine what foundation goes under it. So people will say, because Mr. A has built and my house is beside Mr. A, I want to adopt the same system, forgetting that the soil strata may be different. Mm -hmm. So you will find out that a house will stand upright, the one beside it will, will you know, collapse. Mm -hmm. So I see where somebody built a foundation and the house was like this in the beginning. <laughs> when I sitting with. So <laughs> is it possible that you know, because there's this, there was this period where we didn't see proper regulations where people just had to create housing themselves. And it's become the norm here. We are creating our own housing. There's no government building any structure for you to go and buy. And because of that cost, people would build an outfit that to sit. <laughs> you know, is it possible that that kind of error can pass? And oh, you know, such a thing? Oh, sure. I'm sure that is the reason why the Lagos State Government established the agency I, I run, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it was established on the 6th of April, you know, 2006, but notwithstanding, if you see all the houses like the UBA, we used to the Charerans building, mm -hmm. uh, the First Bank, the Nitel, mm -hmm. you know, they carried out the proper tests, but unfortunately, because a lot of people are non-technical, find their way into this building space or built environment. You know, by the time they supervise a building, uh, they gather experience, they will take it further. So it has messed up the whole built environment. Whereas the built environment is technical. For you to carry out any building, you need to employ some certain professionals for example, you need an architect, you need a structural engineer, you need a civil engineer, you need a project manager, you need a quantity surveyor. But you will see all these things collapse into one, one man, person. Mm -hmm. one person who doesn't even have that sort of experience. So you now have to ask the question, what supervision will that person or can that person give? Mm -hmm. And most definitely it will affect any structure. So um, I, I understand the... Um, importance of regulation to prevent challenges. I also understand the fact that the average, I've attended several real estate conferences and the truth of the matter is we have housing deficit. The housing deficit we have is huge, but the houses we're building isn't for those who need it because we're not building for the poor, we're building for the rich to get more apartments. And the poor people that now have to build are price conscious of everything that goes into the building. So sometimes I feel that what the regulators do is punitive as opposed to informative. Knowing that you're not solving the problem, you are focusing on punishing people who are trying to make ends meet. Some people are just building one two bedroom and then you, you close it down and all of that. How would you, um, I want you to help us raise awareness to the importance of um, getting the right materials on, number one. Number two, how do we ensure that importation, because they say imported cables melt. You know now, everybody now goes to buy made in Nigeria cables, but the imported cables still get into the country and it's cheaper. It's iron rod that is imported, some of them cheaper and not good quality. So how do we ensure that what comes in 
is also so in good quality, delivery was supposed to deliver to avoid Nigerians buying in blind faith and getting scammed? Yeah, I, I think um, when it comes to importation of uh, construction materials, I think solely, apart from the ones that were manufactured in the country, the responsibility lies with SON, Standard Organization of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing uh, legal state material testing can do to control the quality of any construction material other mm -hmm. than carrying out the required tests to make sure they meet the required standard. Because at the end of the day, Lagos State government is aware that, okay, there is quackery in the system, counterfeiters are all over the place. So the only way for the government to prevent lives and properties is to make sure they carry out the requisite test. And if you look at the vision of material testing laboratory, is to ensure zero tolerance to uh, building and civil engineering infrastructure collapse in the state. Mm. And the only way we achieve that is to establish a system whereby it prevents distress building and civil engineering infrastructure through you know, quality control uh, mechanism. Mm. So the only way we, the government is trying its best is to make sure we carry out tests from the inception to completion. So that's why you see that some of these buildings are sealed off. Right. Because once we go there, we carry our samples, we go to the laboratory, we test. Once it does not meet the standard, we will not have to tell you what to do. But in the interim, we will have to stop you from continuing yeah, the construction yeah, yeah. until, you know, okay. you... Okay. What? So I believe that um, information is powerful. And what I see most of the time is, you know, somebody who has hustled year long just trying to get that roof over their head and then they just get into the small money they have been saving collected a jaw here and there and hey, let's call it yeah uh, uh, uncle Kayode, he knows how to put block mm. foundation blah, blah, blah. let's call this one he knows how to put zinc and that's what we see most of the time but what is government doing to take out uh these individuals um try and help them in building quality because i know that in most you know foreign countries they've helped in the individuals don't really build so the government takes ownership and then gives mortgage that's the way you can guarantee this quality is there any plan that well, government is doing yes to help especially the, vul the low income people because yeah. they will tell you at least you have a job that ends so so and so yeah. but we still have to cater for the low income people yep. well it's unfortunate that um the, the juncture we find ourselves in this country. If you look at the economies of uh, early 20th century and compare it with the 21st century, you can see that variance is so huge. And credit to Lagos State government, they've been building houses for low income, but what is the dollar saying today? Two years ago, how much was dollar compared to today? Two years ago, how much did we buy diesel compared to how much diesel is sold today? So there are lots of uh, indices and parameters that determines, you know, what um, government will do. And if you look at it, the government is trying its best, and you cannot say that if you give a contract or you outsource a contract to a contractor to build for low earners. Mm. Hypothetically, it built for 50 million and you want to give it to uh, low earners. How much is them? how much do you give? Them? So who subsidizes them? The, the remainder? So it's unfortunate we'll still find ourselves in this situation in this country until things uh, decide to change and until people have to understand because I listened at the backstage to your previous um, mm. guests. People have to understand that must you have to build? Mm. Mm. That is the question. Even if you build, when you die, would you take the house with you? <laughs> mm. That's the, another question. So why not do things that will make you live happily? Easily. Easily. Than getting yourself into unnecessary you know, uh, dungeon. Okay, let me go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue this conversation. Stay with us, we'll be right back.
Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you our viewers will have the opportunity to call in and share your views after all it's your view join us on your view 9 a.m to 11 a.m for a fantastic conversation don't miss it doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas it shows in the canvas it shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known, for when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting, as the arts are meant to be. How we're doing, guys? Is the makeup in progress? Makeup? Check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script. Check. Are we set in the PCR? All table in place? PCR. Check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. Thanks for staying with us. We're still speaking with the General Manager, Lagos State Materials Testing Laboratory Engineer, Funsho Ululadi. Um, when, I, when I read your mission statement, it says that to establish a system that will prevent distress on buildings and civil engineering. Well, then I will talk about fuel. Thank mechanism to ensure, to ensure quality across um, the state buildings in the state. Yeah, what we have done is to establish uh, various tests <coughs> to address 
various uh, construction uh, components. For example, if you want to determine a foundation, you either carry out a you know, standard penetration test or cone penetration test, which I don't, I don't want to bore the viewers with <laughs> a technical lot of terms. technical jargons. Then when you move from foundation and you start building, we collect all the materials, for example, the cement, the water, the sand, name it, anything you want to use. We carry them, carry out the necessary tests to make sure those materials are up to standard. Even if we have to miss you whilst the... NDT, you know, which we will take to your, you know, your building or construction. We check all the structural elements to make sure right. they are fit. In situations where we cannot guarantee because of the terrain where you are built, we will request that you will do a foundation probing. That means because we were in there, we didn't design for your, you know, foundation. So we'll have to probe that foundation to mm. make sure it is the right foundation. Who do really doing this thing? Yeah. Yeah, let me let you come because I have a final question. Because okay. I wanted to ask, you know, what, what could your agency have done to prevent what happened in, in Kui? And you know, we see a lot of new buildings falling now. What and your agency, you know, is right there at the on the, at the uh, regulation of these issues. What did you do? What could you have done to prevent? You know, did you did you really do anything at all? And what role are you playing in this inquiry? That you know. Okay, thankfully, uh, Lagos State Material Testing did not do any business with the building owner, because uh, collapse happened first of November last year. The first thing I did was to go into the archives. Do we have any collaboration with the building? Nothing was found. The agency regulates all the private laboratories in Lagos. I sent a letter to all of them. Has any one of you, or did any one of you, mm. approved or whatever? Nothing in this place. Well, how did they build a high? So this is what I'm saying, that people, especially you know, the owners of building, they will just employ, you know, half-baked, semi-skilled uh, laborer to supervise their building because they want to cut corners, they want to save money, you know. So is it an option that when I'm building, I just choose to neglect the legal state? Um, That's what I'm saying. Testing. I will use this medium to appeal to, you know, the good people of Lagos state. Okay. It's important that you come and carry out the required test. So that even when you finish that building and you are sleeping in your house, you are, you know, your mind is at peace that nothing would happen, you know. I know you have an event tomorrow. Tell us about the event. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, the event is a follow-on of uh, the inaugural stakeholders conference that we did last year. It was agreed by all the stakeholders that we make it a yearly event. So we're having the second edition of that event uh, this year at Marriott Hotel, tomorrow, Thursday, the 16th, and it starts at 9, where all the experts come under one roof to, you know, provide a solution to how we can reduce to the various minimum collapses in Lagos. And, of course, it's another opportunity that allows people to market themselves, you know, to talk about what they do, because we invited from semi-skilled artisans to the very top, you know, estate developers, private developers, and even materials, uh, construction materials uh, producers. Wow. And thirdly, it, is, it serves as an opportunity, the first public opportunity, to actually discuss all these recent collapses, especially the COE, because there hasn't been any public forum mm. or forum where that has been discussed. So tomorrow presents that um, opportunity. Sure. You don't have to register, just come to show up. No, you come, you show up. Okay. It's a public thing, oh. you know, mm -hmm. because I believe that if there is enough public advocacy or enlightenment, mm. people will know that they have to carry out the necessary right. test. You know, so, info, like, information is uh, knowledge is power. Oh. Thank you, know. you so much, sir. It was a pleasure having you on the show. Thank all right. you for having me. That's all we can take on this segment. we come back, finally, our hot topic. Stay with <laughs> us. We'll be right back.
Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. I don't like because of you. Thank you. Hi there. Hello, Paul. You can price, Sha, but you're always saving on everything. Except for here. This is where you're throwing money down the drain. How? On this cleaning product. Impossible. You need the new Hapik Toilet Cleaner. With just one thirty Naira sachet of Hapik Toilet Cleaner, you save four. Mm. Apic Stick Formula stays longer, so it cleans 10 times better. Wow, Helen! And it saves because it's only 39. Giving you a sparkling clean toilet and great savings too. Wake up the champion in your child. Give them energy to go further. Milo Active Go and the natural goodness of malt, milk and cocoa helps wake up the champion in your child. Milo! Find the strength I need every time that I look into your eyes. I know they worry, cause I know, say you did by my side. And if I fall away, right in the midst of all my hours, you know that I have for my wife. Helen Paul, don't be surprised. I'm a new twin. I know you've heard of Apic Toilet Cleaner. Of course. And for the rest of your bathroom? Bathroom? I use detergent and bleach to clean. <laughs> Madam, detergent and bleach does not give you better cleaning. In the bathroom, you find tough stains like grime, lime scale, and eating underneath our germs. Introducing new Apic Bathroom Cleaner. Dilute it in water to clean the floor. And for tough stains, use directly on surface to give you 10 times better cleaning versus detergent and kills germs as well. Wow! So blue for my toilet and red for my bathroom to be good as new. <laughs> Showing up in style inspires great confidence. IBM G5T appeals to class. <laughs> Time is of the essence. With IBM Kappa, business and meetings are always on the go. Fun time with the family. Thank you to IBM King. IBM Kara is always still in the show. Isn't she beautiful? Influence defines a great leader. IBM Seriki is Africa's commute king. Strong, reliable, and durable. With the concept of regionalization, Innocent Vehicle is committed to satisfying its customers with producing their everyday dream cars. IVM, pride of African roads. Because no matter where you go, no matter how we be, I go always there for you. Anything where you come for, oh, whatever you think, go. Oh, I cannot be divine for hey, you. All I ask in return. That you treat me a little better with Ibo. Toilet cleaner. My hygiene, I own no Ibo. Toilet cleaner. It's a win win for me and you, so let me win more. The news, wherever the big news stories happen.
Thanks for staying with us. So Bernard Boy trended in the last few days, especially because of what happened um, at Club Cabana in, uh, on, in Victoria Island over the weekend. So we, talked, we took the story a few times. Mm -hmm. I think it was Miriam took the story saying that he went to a party, to a club, mm -hmm. and he had with him five of his police escorts. Um, he was making a pass at a married woman, uh, mm -hmm. and when he did that, the married woman, woman's husband accosted him saying, that, why would you do that to my wife? Then things went back, the, the party went on. Again, he made another pass at the wife again. And then I was like, oh, God, Wendy, what is going on here? At some point, back and forth happened. Somebody was shot in the mm -hmm. thigh. Another person was shot through the head. Mm -hmm. Although both of them are alive, they didn't die. Thank God for that. Uh, but what was even the high point of this was that that night, Bonaboy fled to Spain. Calling his escort, saying, "Guys, hasta la vista. I'm out. Um, whatever happens, just, you know, just keep me posted, you know." So, and the police like this. So, I read in the papers yesterday. They're saying they're calling him a fugitive that he has to call. And others are saying, "What does Bonaboy have to do with this? He went to a party and he went to a, for a club. What's the big deal? Was he got Bonaboy that shot? Was it Bonaboy that pulled the trigger? Those are the questions. Is he at fault in this? What are your thoughts? You can call us on zero eight one two seven zero five three six eight seven. 091-390-7694. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Nima, let me start with you because your thoughts. Um, do you think Bonaboy should have stayed back? Or where is Bonaboy's fault in this whole thing? The very, very beginning. So um, Bonaboy had two detailed police officers attached to him to protect him because, of course, he's a... High profile. Well, high profile. Individual. Yeah, individual. Mm -hmm. like Very important face. personality. Personality. So, and these people would do anything under their duties to protect him, to show that they are working. So it's called vicarious liability. And if Bonaboy's action, which of course we is clear now that he tried to hit on a married woman whose husband stood up for her. So even if she was alone and he tried to hit on the woman, she said no. I mind your business. But because, you know, it is his youthful exuberance and all of that, he continued, and this led to his police officers shooting in a public place. Let's even assume nobody was injured. That they shot in that public place that is actionable, and Bonaboy, as the sole beneficiary of that protection, is vicarious liable for the people attached to him. Now, Nigerians are arguing that these are police officers under the Nigerian police force. But Why he knew what, he, no, we know me. that certain, certain high profile expensive. know how they get this police mm. attachment to them. Yeah. And so you cannot now come and say, no, when they have committed crime, you they are to you. I wanted to finish how this mm. public, uh, these are so-called artists. So another A-list artist like himself mm. almost shot me mm -hmm. at Ilashe Beach on my yeah. wedding anniversary yeah. in 2020. Hey. I'm Zizi. telling you, I'm have, sitting here saying it with full chest. <laughs> <laughs> Just because we had even stepped out of the way for him because I didn't know that was his beach house. It was my first time trying to see one of the beach houses there. We're just strolling around the beach. And he was approaching. And then we said, hearing noise, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So they said, everybody stay out of the way. Somebody was pushing us out of the way. And so when I thought he had moved, all of us had decided to move too. And so I hear papa mm. inside the yard. Papa, papa, papa. Pa. Mm. Inside the yard, over my head. Your life you know, in your before. In my before. Hey, Just because of what? And you know, I knew that there was no threat. Mm. But because these officers needed to show their own guard that they are doing, they are working for the few dollars that they would get. I would have been at risk. Okay. This is what happened right. to wait, him. Wait, wait, let, let, me, let me hear the thought. Wait, do you agree? This, um, thank you. Let's let's me, be, let me, thank you for giving me the opportunity to express <laughs> myself in defense of the star that I like, our African giant. Hello. Okay, so um, let me start by saying, I'm not going to, I can't, it's impossible to absolve um, Bonaboy of every form of blame because they were working with him at that time. Their time on the clock was with him. But really, for me, it is the police. It is the overzealousness because of small change. Mm. I, I strongly feel we need to stop having police escorts for everybody that categorizes themselves as VIP. People should have private bodyguards. Private bodyguards that is 100% liable for whatever they do. These, these gunshots, these people that are in the hospital were shot by bullets that was paid for by taxpayers' money. And for me, who is responsible it will be the police officers themselves 
and the authority that delegated them to do that job. We have general one-on-one um, -on -one, um, crises, and they say, oh, the police don't have enough bullets. There was a case that happened in the Bumo show, and the, the police commissioner, and the people were in, the, in the police station were saying that, ah, we cannot fight. How many bullets do we have in the entire police station if we shoot? These people have more bullets than us. So let's not even bother shooting. They ran away. Mm, but they are the case the of what now. happened, is that, that's, I know I'm going to. The case that happened in Owo, we spoke to the um, Oba. The Oba said, there's a police station right within my, but they don't have any, they don't have anything to fight them. Yet, we've had several cases where police escorts of I'm certain VIPs mm. have access to shoot to clear road. Mm. They will shoot. They are, more to, they are yeah. more equipped and they are shooting to clear Private the road, individual. not to fight insurgency, not to recover kidnappers, mm. but they have ability to shoot to clear road. It's happened once, it's happened twice, it's happened several times. And yet, our police have not taken it. They, they will say it is like people, Nima, you use big legal language I that she just used that. Vicarious liability. Li <laughs> they will use vicarious liability to put the blame in a way that would not make them take responsibility mm. for how they have failed us. Mm. So if there awesome. is bullets to shoot within, um, the club, and there is no bullets to shoot bandits. when people are kidnapped and, and ah. bandits. Then you don't have any case. Gary, Police Gary. people should deal with themselves. Awesome, awesome. awesome. Well awesome. But now yeah. let me let me let me come to you. <laughs> is it a crime? Look, of course it's a crime. But what are your thoughts on Warner Boy's actions? So, is it the overzealous, the, the overzealousness, you know, trying to make a pass at somebody's wife? You didn't touch her, you didn't you didn't grope her. You were just making a pass from your distance. To her. Now, the man got defensive. Let's, let, let's talk about that, because that, that's what caused this whole yes. um, thing that happened. In so the, for the me, club. personally, I would define it as sexual harassment. Okay. When you come to me and I say no, please go back. Don't come again and come again and come again. And it was mm. quite disrespectful to the husband. It's not like the lady went to the club alone. She was with somebody. Right. Whether it's the husband or brother, the fact that she had somebody with her, Look you should away. have given that respect. You have three ladies with you. That will not reach you. That's uh, what's this um, king that had a vineyard in the scriptures and went to take mm. the neighbor's own mm. because he felt with the millions he had. Mm -hmm. that's, that's greed. And also oppression and entitlement. So you get to a certain stage in your life and you feel like I can have everything because mm -hmm. I have the fame, I have the money, the people love me and just wave that I wife. have your wife. Yeah, I have your wife, I can have your wife, I can have your children, I can have anything I want. Mm. We need to begin to respect humans. We need to begin to respect boundaries. We need to begin to respect no. When somebody says no, please accept that no and go. I would also blame Bonaboy because we sit here and we talk about uh, children when they go out and they mess up and we take responsibility. So if your child comes to my house and breaks television, I'm not going to jack him up and put him in prison. I will hold you and stop me. Your child has broken my television. How do we fix it? You will take responsibility. Mm. That's the right thing to do. When you know that you have security um, people, yeah. detail, you should have conversations with them. Oh, sure. Fine. People will always come around me. I'm a superstar here, but Find a way to but let them the down ones, easy. But they are the ones with the training, not you. Your job is no, just, they are, no, they are the ones with the training no, and then they know no, when, you are, when you are in danger. Yes, they know better, yes, not you. You wouldn't yes, know that. So yes, it's their I job. I wouldn't know that. Discretion. But there's a way you have a conversation. Do your work easy. I wouldn't want, except there's a situation where they are shooting at us. Mm. Then you can shoot to defend me. But we are going died. To, no, leave that thing. We are, we are going to a public place. Right. Why are you handling a gun? Okay, let me, so come, to, let, let me come to let me come to the probably the, the, the burner boy. The wait, I'm coming there now. The, the burner boy same. where last concert he had, they were throwing bras at him. Eh, Branded bras. Him. So they so so that, that with that kind of that that can pump a man out there. You know what? They want me. Mm, but and if you want a married one, I could get you. So, so, so I, I understand no job. <laughs> so I uh, the Lagbaja song, I, I love Lagbaja. Lagbaja said, yes. now my right mm. to uh, ask you. Now you're right, whether you go green, yeah. but if you know, know you're right, baby, and you can say no, you go talk at JJ, respect mm. yourself. It's a right to say, I want to, and you, the person has a right to say no. no. So the first toasting, the mm. first move mm. was not a problem for me. Mm. The second move was, was disrespect. Yeah. Because I've been in situations where I've gone, I went to hang out with my husband, and I was dancing, and my husband, he, he, when he dances with me, everybody will know I'm the owner of this thing. Mm. Then he steps out and you make a move. One, you are disrespecting me because you know I came with somebody. What do you think? Every woman is going to jump after everybody. 
and then you now pass a card. I now give my husband. My husband now do that. You, you, you must have that respect. So uh -huh. I think Bona Boy disrespected all your force is female fans. Yes. Some people like putting bra, it does not mean that everybody, everybody wants, wants to like you, bra. not for that area. Mm -hmm. So that was wrong. Uh, but on the other hand, let me let Nima. Oh, Before I let you know, let me take a day. I'll come to you, Nima. Sorry. A day from London. Are you there? Yeah, Ade, you're live. Uh, Go ahead, please. I condemn the yes, I condemn what the police did. It's very wrong, but police have been made in Nigeria not today. But I want to ask all of you the question, please. Mm. I will be confused. You got married, you have a wife, and you are taking your wife to the clubhouse, which is we have even get drunk. Anything can happen. Mm. Is it proper to take your wife to the club? See, even though I condemn what you did, I mean, I can't ask on it. You take your own wife, your own wife, mother of your children, or your future children, to the club. We have no smoke and do every other sort of thing. What are you trying to do to that woman in the future? I, I don't like it. Oh, Mr. I don't understand. I, I, I understand you. Please, 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 I didn't get it. What he's, he's, he was like, attacking how would you carry the, wife to the be? husband for carrying the wife. I, please, I, take I, with I, the club. I'm born again now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I'm born, born, born again. But I... So let me be very honest. When I didn't club as a single girl. I did not do any of all those groups. So when I was getting married, and I loved to have fun, I, I wanted to do these things in marriage. And mm. God blessed me with a husband that, that was understood. comfortable. We rocked every place from on the mainland to the island before. And I said, OK, I have club finish. The, I, I have tired. And then I'm not doing again. So, but I really wanted to exploit, and I felt I couldn't do it until I was married. But within the confines of marriage, I felt I could now do these things and exploit. And I'm done to a large extent. Anyway. Okay, so for me, it's not disrespectful. husband and Bonner boy both comported themselves wrongly. Okay, husband? Both husband and Bonner boy. Oh, really? Yes, that's where I saw it. So Bonner boy went out of his way to ask a woman out. And you might be, everybody might be throwing bra at you, but you're still not somebody's taste. Some people will just look at him and prefer him as an artist that they can farm, but not a man that they, will, they can be attached to. Really. And the woman has that right to say no. But the husband should also wait until there's trouble to defend the woman. So she has gone out to a club. You just want to, you might just be getting the opportunity to test your wife's taste. Maybe you are together and this kind of test has not happened. Let her be the one to say no. Protect her as much as possible, but don't jump in. So this happened in my own marriage where somebody was hitting on my husband in the earliest days of our marriage. And I faced my front. <laughs> and he thought, no, uh -uh, a woman, she was touching me and he didn't do anything. Uh -uh. If she slapped me when I'm defending you. But, <laughs> but the truth is, I wanted to know the kind of person I was married to. If you wanted to enjoy it and pass card, there's really nothing I would do. She also wanted to know the kind of man she was married to because she allowed I him to defend him. Ah, she didn't want to. So, no. Okay, she come <laughs> No, 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 wait, no, 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 listen. Wait, wait, Many right. women would appreciate that their husbands defended them in yeah. that kind of place. That yeah. You didn't allow yeah. some man to throw him past at me. That no, would be disrespectful. No, no, no. Sometimes these things are not defense. They are even the aggression. Mm. So somebody was hitting on your wife and you say no. He comes back and you say no. And she says no. And the person goes away. He can come 20 times and she keeps saying no. As long as she did not move from your side. They not drag her chair now. Yeah. Wait, wait, we see. Times, but, but when they talk this thing, they come. I'm just trying to make sense of things. I'm just mm. trying to bring another yeah. side of things. Mm. As long as they did not move my chair. You don't mm. become violent. It, does, it doesn't have to get to that violence. Mm. So I'm just um, um, considering the, up, the, the aggression of some men. Like, excuse me, can you not see? And you carry this thing on your head. You then provoke and you provoke. Before you know, Wait, maybe. Uh, which provocation need to go to? maybe. Which kind of provocation? If, you, if Bonaboy had police attached to him, now I'm not on Bonaboy's side on this at yeah, all. Yeah. At all. Just saying that if Bonaboy has police attached to him and you took the fight from your side of the club where he's sending messenger mm -hmm. to his side of the club <laughs> to go and do some kind of a giddy, As you, you just might get a gunshot. They might James fucking, Bond. yes, you just might. I'm just wondering how his lawyers would be thinking if they bring a defense. And Let me take this call. Yakub, are you there? Thanks for calling. Yeah, you're lying. Go ahead. First and foremost, I let me disagree with my friend, Mr. D from London. Uh, if it, your wife, what about if it is your wife that requested for that? Will you say that you are not going to take her to the club? Oh, okay. And then I don't see anything bad in that taking your wife to a club if it was requested by her. So it does not necessarily mean that it's only only uh, beach uh, this thing you can take your wife. Let let her request. So I'm saying that, Murayo, 
All of us will know that we are, Nigeria is under police. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, for the fact that we are under police, all these artistic get uh, escort police to escort them to club. And then it's the Nigerian system. As one of your co-hosts rightly say, why can't you get an ordinary guy instead of Nigerian police? Now, he's shooting that club. Now, if somebody, uh, we don't know. Maybe police, somebody die or not, we don't know. If, that person, if somebody okay. die, now, that person don't go forever with that. Mm -hmm. So now, they detain the guy now. What will happen next? Is he going to be dismissed from the police? Because what he did is wrong. Yes. So that is dirty. If it, it, it's Nigerian society, All right, it's thank effort. you. But is Bonaboy guilty? Then they're calling him a fugitive because yes. he's in the middle. Is he responsible? He didn't, that he didn't pull the trigger. He didn't, he didn't no. instruct he them to shoot. He, he was just making a pass. And they, 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 he's more than he he's he's not for him. For me, if anything if happens. criminal investigation is undergoing and you are a key suspect, you don't just check out of the country because so you're He did not report for criminal you investigation. Take, he did not report now. He did not report because he wasn't he aware. He flew out. He, he wasn't aware. Because they are, see, if you check, I thought about, I'm a fan. He ran know, away. Aside from being a fan, he didn't run away. He just traveled. He had a busy schedule. Hey, oh, there are conferences. He do pump out at a club. One best in leg. One best in leg. He don't know. He's there and gone. He do pump out at a club. One best in leg. One best in leg. Oh, oh, oh. He can't even fly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm trying my best to be. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm trying to be in between. But I know that Bonner Boy has a very, very tight schedule. There are concerts everywhere. This guy won a Grammy. He's, he's the, he's the biggest. He won a Grammy, Nima. Yeah. He won a Grammy. He's not a small fry. So he should not be. He's waiting, he's waiting for Nigeria to be saying, take, collect your Please. passports. When he has performances they've paid for, fully booked, shut down O2, shut down with Beverly. Which is why I'm he should comport himself properly. What, which is why we should deal with the real root of the problem. Police, police officers carrying guns and supporting so. VIPs. Someone wants to separate the conversation. Uh -huh. So there's the burner boy, our star boy, right? Who and there's the police himself. who have the authority to shoot, to pull the trigger. They're the ones that have been overzealous. So in this situation, but I agree with you, he's a suspect because we should ask him, we should Thanks. call him for questioning. Thanks what for happened that. exactly? What yeah, kind of pass did you make? Did you hear the analogy, the other side? I just Zoom questioning. Him. If those police officers attack to him, whose business is as soon as a, an attack is suspected mm. to do the, anything yeah. Yeah. to yeah. protect him, and they wanted to do anything to protect him, and I like it, but I say, it does my wife. It does my wife. <laughs> and they shoot up. You, th you think he doesn't have a case? Mm, they yeah. all have a case here. These police officers, I don't know how trained they are, but we're all, only doing what they were assigned to zoom do. Zoom if they were allowed to carry guns, they will shoot to disperse well, let, the well, well, let, let, Let's joke some parts. There uh -huh. are people in the hospital fighting for their lives. Yeah. Serious yeah. issue. It could have been worse. Somebody could have had a bullet worse. through his That's head. It could have been worse. Exactly. So I, somebody could have died. So this yes, is not as funny as we're just... Yes. No, 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 no. I no, think no. Um, just to ease it across the board, we all just need to take responsibility. Right. Mm -hmm. When um, people trust you, you've, your talent has taken you somewhere, and you get to a particular level, it's on you to ensure that you are accountable to people. You are not there by, you are there by his grace. And so with everything you do, you must lace it with understanding and empathy for mm -hmm. other people. Yeah. You don't get there and feel so proud and forget yourself. Right. You start, you know, like the kings of old, they could do and undo just because they had the power. And there's always a warning and a downfall waiting. Mm -hmm. So at every point in time, you must take responsibility. I was saying initially that if you have a conversation and you say, accept there is a risk on my life and there's a shootout happening, then you can shoot. But we're going to a public place. Please, as much as you can, just find a way. Well, that's that, they're, they're supposed to have because what if, what if the husband of this woman had a gun? Yes, and you he shot back. You could have been like, because you're, 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 you're making a pass on my wife. Come from America, America, so, so, and he has something. Exactly. So, yeah. so, so, for big, police, big, big, big. so for a police to actually bring out a gun, let us also see where their own reasoning, because they could, he could have been a threat to the no, principal, their principal. Yes. He did not, but he could have. What, as you said, if he came from Bronx, yes, just landed like from that. Bronx, just get gun, and he wants to be, hey, you made the pass on my wife, you are dead. So they are there are different reasons why a police will shoot, but at the same time, we have to. Our police must be more responsible. They yes, they must be, be more. What they did, to somebody could have. Both been. all of them are responsible for what be. has happened. Everybody should come and answer to it. So if we use this like a scapegoat, it has happened. Next time, you know how to comport yourself better. Mm. Other people, other artists, other actors who feel who and feel politicians. they can do and undo, and politicians who mm. have these guts and feel we can do and undo, we take a cue from that. Mm. Let's not forget the vital point that Okwe made earlier.
that we are looking for guns in our police stations. God, no. The police in a gun well station, they don't have. Or your state station, they, all the local stations around, they don't have they don't have bullets. They don't have fuel in their car. But these escorts, they are well dressed. Goodness me. You see them mm. nicely they pay dressed. They pay them. That is very close for his own details. That's the truth. I didn't know that. The one, that's the truth. He will dress them up. I saw the one detail to that one that wanted to shoot my head. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they do not look like the ordinary one. And because, see, didn't want to head, see, that that exaggerate. See, that, 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 that explains some of their overzealousness. You get dollars. Most of the police officers in the police stations want to get attached to yes, high-profile really officers. Yeah. They are looking it for their yes, really How do I break do. even? This they work really I they do, how much mm. is the salary? But when I'm attached, I, know I get some benefits. Mm. And those benefits is why they want to go there. We know yeah. these things. Mm. Nima, I know someone who's worked with um, a revamped, um, revamped, um, what do you call those um, people that are in the creeks? Mm. Uh, militants. Yeah. Yeah. A, a revamped militant. And he's been with that person for 12 years. The, man, the, pers the militant, ex militant was saying that, ah, this guy has been with me for 12 years. He carried the gun when he was coming, he shot into the air, just at attending a party. And I was wondering, why would you shoot into the air? Because mm. person to clear party, road. Just to clear road for mm. the person. He said, this guy has been with me for 12 years. I've built house for him. Mm. I've paid his children's school fees. Mm. The man is a seven. He's a serving officer, but he's attached to this man so, and he's not going anywhere else. So most yeah, police officers yeah, aspire to be yeah, attached. Yeah, because yeah. we need to make it more conducive for them to do the job they're meant to do. They protect yes. every individual like yes. this. Okay, yes. we have to wrap up. Any comments on social media so we can wrap up? Uh, um, Bonner Boy. Boy. So it's Bonner Boy back in Nigeria now. He's yeah, saying he's not back in other countries. Um, um, Simeon says, the man no one take chances, ni. Uh, Uju Gloria says, Bonner Boy is guilty as charged. They are not charging. <laughs> um, ah, Idera says, Morel stole the show today with a traditional home inclined outfit. Oh, so, oh that's sweet. <laughs> Thank you. More shine. I'll be more shine. Thank um, you. Uh, Adeola says, To me, the husband didn't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. Bonner didn't regard him. That's why he went back after the woman ignored him the first time. And I absolutely agree. So there was a report about one day call. And, 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 um, somebody was making a report. I, didn't have, I don't have time to take it, but he was also accusing one day call as men and his, um, say his gang beating up his brother. We'll, we'll, look, that, we'll look at that story. So I guess it goes back to this overzealousness of those yeah. protecting yes. these, yeah. um, these for people. This man, and the way they see their... The Nigeria system doesn't avail him because we've seen this feel at uh, Caroline and the, the other guy's uh, episode that we didn't see criminal didn't see justice. So, partial civil justice. Somebody cannot just shoot at you at a public yeah. place in Nigeria. Okay, and we pray for the quick recovery of those in the hospital. I mean, it's, it's not a joke at all. It's not something that we should... Uh, because somebody, could, they could have died. One yeah. bullet mm -hmm. went through their head and another one through the thigh. We just hope that they um, recover so quickly. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. The following is a paid presentation by ShopX TV. You're watching ShopX TV, home to some of the most popular international brands in Africa, including Hopper Chef, MyFit Jeans, Genie Bra, the Power XL Air Fryer, the Nutri Bullet, and more. ShopX TV has brought you the latest innovations in lifestyle, fitness, and cooking from across the globe, and we are now proud to introduce our biggest offer ever. ShopX TV is proud to introduce the Copper Chef XL Collection. Each pan in the Copper Chef XL Collection features Copper Chef's innovative stainless steel induction plate that heats food quickly and evenly with no hot spots, making it perfect for any surface, electric, gas, ceramic, and induction. And 